This water is really warm. This is nice. <laughs> really nice. Hey, so before we get started, every time we do this, I need to make this one clarification, and that is this. That is this. Tell me. Is what you are going to witness up here, does that act save a person being baptized? No. no, it does not. It is evidence. It is a picture of the salvation that she's already experienced. As she goes under the water, that is a picture of her death to sin, her death to rebellion, her death to being God's enemy. And when she comes up out of the water, she is raised to a new life of following Christ. And so with that in mind, will you please welcome Janess to the baptism. So Janess has prepared a testimony, and so she's going to read that yes. now. Thank you. Yep. Yes, I'd like to share a small part of the amazing work of God in my life. Um, just prior to my conversion, my Mormon bishop asked me to speak about baptism to the congregation, which took me to the Bible and studying um, was causing confusion. It didn't support my false theology. And at the same time, I was experiencing deep conviction that I did not know God. There is a scripture that was unnerving to my unsaved soul, where Jesus will say to people who claim power in spiritual works, I never knew you, depart from me. I questioned deeply and wondered if I was good enough. I was in bondage in a religious system of works and ordinances, applying my own efforts, not understanding. These would never bring me to a personal saving relationship with Jesus. Hungry and anxious, I unwittingly listened to all kinds of non-biblical teaching. I was ignorant to the God-breathed truths of the Bible. The grace-filled message of the cross, I could not comprehend. I listened to the lie that the Bible was altered, untrustworthy. The God of this world had blinded my mind, keeping me from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. The reason for salvation is because God chose to save. He turned on the light. As described in 2 Corinthians, the same God who said, let there be light in the darkness, has made this light shine in our hearts so that we could know the glory of God. God rescued me from darkness and placed me in Christ's kingdom. Just as I had nothing to do with my own physical birth into this world, this spiritual rebirth was nothing I could ever initiate, only accomplished by the sovereign will and grace of God. I've been amazed to receive brand new sight, a softened heart, and experience new freedom never before known by me. Truly for freedom, he has set me free. For his grace and mercy, I cannot ever be grateful enough, so I just offer mere worship and praise in awe of his plan of salvation. As in Titus 3.5, as John taught us earlier today, he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by washing, regeneration, rebirth, renewal of the Holy Spirit. For this, I am forever grateful. Amen. Well, Janessa, I know that this has been a long road for you, and it's only just begun. Yeah. But part of baptism is not only a picture of your salvation, but it is an identification with all the people here who've also been baptized and are following Christ. So based on your profession of faith, it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Pretty good day, huh? Pretty good day. Well, God bless you. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Take care.